Markets have fought for a ban on assault rifles in Florida since the Parkland massacre on Valentine's Day 2018. They did not get the signatures needed to put it on the 2020 ballot either, but the battle will not end there. Eight on your side, Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vasilinda has the story. Of the 147,000 valid signatures that ban assault weapons now is already collected, just over 16,000 came from the Tampa Bay area. Whether they get to keep those signatures or have to start all over is now in the hands of the Florida Supreme Court. The proposed ban on assault weapons had enough signatures to get a Supreme Court review of its language, even though it didn't make the 2020 ballot. Supreme Court of Florida is now in session. Sponsors were peppered with questions. Justices wanting to know if voters would really understand the full impact of the amendment from the summary on the ballot. It seems to me that the chief purpose of this amendment is to eliminate long guns within a generation in the state of Florida. Is that not well, right? Gun rights groups called the amendment's definition of assault weapons misleading. This definition is ambiguous and does not make it clear to voters the full scope of firearms that would be banned under the amendment. Afterwards, author John Mills voiced both optimism and concern. 22 ballot is the go. And so, uh, yeah, there's, uh, the court is always an education. Chairwoman Gail Schwartz, whose nephew, Alex Schachter, was killed in the Parkland massacre, says win or lose in the court, the effort isn't going away. Our amendment will save lives. Our amendment will help prevent the next Parkland and Pulse. Our amendment will help end the epidemic of mass shootings. Sponsors spent all of last year gathering the 147,000 signatures that they do have, raising questions of they'll even be able to make the 2022 ballot. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vassalinda, eight on your side. Ban assault weapons now has collected more than 147,000 signatures. 7,766,000 are needed to get the measure on the ballot, and that number could increase based on turnout in this year's election.